today is the 50th anniversary of the release of Rainbow, which was released on um, the 19th of June, 1970. Um, we had to follow up Reflections, which was a big deal, it had been a big, big hit all over the world, so really it was, um, it was pretty much on us. So I had come up with the idea, uh, the music uh, and the title, Rainbow, and um, I played it to the boys, and they fancied it, Dean wrote the verse lyric. And um, we um, went to Decca, and it was a strange recording because it was stripped down. There was actually nothing on it: acoustic guitar, bass, and drums, a little wee bit of per uh, percussion, and just uh, Dean Graham and I just sing. Um, the session was fraught with tension because really we were whistling Dixie. We weren't quite sure whether the song was actually going to work, and um, because it was stripped down. We were each in different uh, sort of booths. We couldn't see each other, and that, that led to some tensions, which uh, you'll hear in a minute. Um, but all in all, um, we got the record finished, and everybody was delighted with it, um, including Decca. Um, but right at the eleventh hour, I had a major panic about it because I thought, I'm not sure this is actually good enough. Um, but what happened was that uh, we Dean was uh, very friendly with Terry and Sylvester from the Hollies at the time. And they lived in North London near each other and um, Dean had a associate uh, A-label sort of demonstration recording of Rainbow which he used to get in those days. And he sort of played it to him and he said, he told him the plot and said, you know, Junior's a bit worried about it, he's not sure about it. And um, apparently Terry had said to him, are you nuts? This is going to be a really, really big hit. So, of course, when Dean came back and told me that, I thought, well, that's okay. I always loved the Hollies. They were a big influence in the early days. I thought they were a great band. In fact, they were the group's group. Everybody likes them. So, um, anyway, we went for it. And it came out, and it was really, it was a big, big hit. So, top three in the UK. Didn't do quite as well as we'd hoped in, um, in the US. Uh, probably down to them promo, but... Um, I have a lot of affection for the song um, and it's just quite remarkable how you can just have a basic idea and it turns into you know, something that's pretty special. A lot of people, a lot of fans of the band and stuff, supporters have always loved this song and it always comes back. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it actually. I think it's a good record. Anyway, I hope you're all okay, healthy and safe and uh, this has been an awful day. Um, but we will get through it and um, we can have a laugh and time's to come. But anyway, I'll, I'll play the little session um, recording stuff that went on before the actual record appeared and uh, you'll hear you know, how things were in the marmalade in the spring of 1970. Toodaloo, the new. Cheerio. Oh, I meant to say, my voice is gone, in case you were wondering. Rainbow Dreamer, that's a good name. Rainbow Dreamer, take one. This rainbow will be this. <laughs> okay. Right. One, two. Uh, I'll take one. Mine is filled up at the end. One. Is it there? Huh? Is that the harmonica bit? Sorry? Isn't that the harmonica bit? No. Next one. Oh, Dean, you better bit. sing, actually. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that's what's happening. Nobody knows what's fucking going on. Right. Two or eighteen. Look me down Rainbow 
You were fun to have around. I was dreaming of the love I had to share. Never thinking you were here, you were there. Not a word, not a sound. Couldn't see or even feel the ground. A pot of gold, I was sold by the way you let it fly. Rainbow, look me up, look me down. Rainbow, you were fun to have around. I was dreaming of the love I had to share. Never thinking you were here, you were there. Look me down Rainbow You were fun to have around Now I'm changing For the better, for the day Feel like singing All the colors you can make Come on home and keep me warm and love me till the new day's born and I pray you will stay forever in my eyes.